so today I'm going to be talking about um, what equipment you need if you're going to start doing YouTube videos because that's usually the first question that people ask or the one thing that people worry about when they're making the YouTube videos is whether their equipment is good enough, what equipment would be best, what equipment do they need to use and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to start talking about is cameras because obviously cameras are a very huge part of making a video. They're pretty important. So I use a Canon 600D. It is a DSLR. It is um, a, what a lot of YouTubers used to use. I don't know whether some YouTubers have moved on from the 600D to bigger and better things, but you can pick up a 600D now for probably about 300 pounds, maybe even less than that, 250, something like that in the UK. And it is a really, really good camera. A lot of people have moved on to stuff like the 5D and more expensive DSLRs, but the 600D is still going strong for me. I've had it for about three years now, maybe four years, and it is just a fantastic little DSLR. Well, I say little, it's not really that little. So if you can't afford a DSLR, and that is pretty much a lot of people, I think, can't afford a DSLR or don't want a DSLR, then you can always go for a compact camera. So I have the Sony A5000, and this one is actually one of the more expensive compact cameras because again, I use it for video and I use it for photography and I like the fact that you can take off the lens and stuff and change the lenses, but this is one of the more expensive compact cameras. You can go for something a bit cheaper, it really doesn't matter. The one thing I would say if you're gonna go for a compact camera is just make sure that it has HD quality video. So that can either be 720p or it can be 1080p. And you can find that on the specifications, on the camera, on the box, on the Amazon, on any other electronic -y, shoppable website. Ideally go for a 1080 because that means you're gonna get the absolute top quality HD crisp kind of video. But 720 is also still HD, so that will give you just as good quality. And yeah, and on YouTube anyway, they usually load it in like the lowest quality possible, so it's faster. But it's always nice to be able to click that HD button and have like a nice, clear, crisp video. So if you're gonna be using a DSLR, I definitely recommend you get an external microphone, just because the mics that are built into the SLRs, some of them don't have a mic at all, some of them do have a mic, um, but because they're technically designed for photography and not video production, the internal mics can be a bit dodgy. So I definitely recommend you get an external microphone for your SLR or even for your camera recorder. They should have an import where you can plug in the mic. If they don't, I mean, just check before you go on and buy one. But yeah, I'll put the link to the same mic that I have down in the description below. So if you do wanna check out an external mic, you can go and click on that and check that out. But I have the Rode Mic Pro and I will insert like me showing it you because I can't show you it now because I'm using it. But yeah, so it really does depend on what equipment you are using. If you're using an SLR or a camera recorder, then an external microphone is fantastic. Or if you're gonna be using your iPhone, um, your desktop or iPad or a compact camera, then you kind of don't have much options, much options, you don't have many options um, to what kind of sound equipment you can use. It tends to be mostly internal cameras, but they're not too bad. Those kind of microphones can pick up pretty well. It's just important that you speak quite clearly and loudly and it should pick up them. Pick up them? Pick, I can't speak at all. It should pick you up um, completely fine if you're talking quite eloquently. Is that the word? Eloquently? Eloquently. I have two softbox lights, so I will again insert a clip here of me showing you my softbox lights. But I got these two off eBay as a pair and I think they cost me 70 pounds, something like that, 60 to 80 pounds. And they're fantastic, absolutely brilliant. Not very good for portable use because they're a little bit large, but they're fantastic for lighting YouTube videos because they aren't too strong. So if you are in a small area like I am, because I have to shoot in like teeny tiny rooms, then they're not gonna like blast you with light and make you look like a ghost person, especially for me because I'm very pale, so I reflect light very easily. So these are fantastic because it's just a nice, subtle sort of, quite natural lighting for your videos. Sort of set one up each side and sort of pointing at you, just to sort of light each side of your face because sometimes one side of your face will be darker than the other, so you just wanna cancel out any shadows. And also you can use the uh, lights in your room. So I always have the lights on 
in the room as well and then I just sort of adjust the camera settings camera <laughs> adjust the camera settings to uh, make sure that I'm not too bright and stuff like that um, but if you're using a compact camera or any of the other sort of options that I've mentioned before then just have a play around and see what kind of lighting you can do some people can't afford softbox lights and that's completely fine try and get if you're going to be using a lamp or any sort of other household lighting item at least try and go out and get a daylight bulb because normal bulbs that you have in your lamps and in like your ceiling lights and stuff they're very orange and if you can't cancel it out or you're not very good at post production sort of editing side and you're not going to be able to take out that orange it's going to look really odd and sort of really unnatural so try and get a daylight bulb if you can't afford softbox lights if you can get a daylight bulb then you are sorted you could just use a lamp for like that you find at the side of your bed the final thing is software so editing software how you're going to cut up and put together your videos this is almost equally as important as having good quality equipment good sort of quality video obviously editing equipment is quite expensive you can get free versions but they're not very good for if you want quite detailed um edited videos so if you really want to get close cuts and things like that then they're not great but they are good for someone who just wants to throw together a youtube video so youtubers can use anything from iMovie or Windows Movie Maker to things like Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas. Um, I use Adobe Premiere, Adobe, Adobe Premiere. <laughs> My speech is given out in this entire video. I use Adobe Premiere. I used to use Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Pro X, which are both fantastic um, pieces of software, but they can be quite expensive. Adobe, you can pay like the monthly fee and get Photoshop and all the other Adobe Premiere kind of programs as well but that's just what I use because I do a lot of video editing and that's what I use for like my normal job as well so I tend to use that but you can use things like um, iMovie and iMovie is actually really good iMovie is very close to Final Cut Pro X um, Final Cut Pro X gives you a bit more control over your effects and over your sound editing and over like your general editing um, iMovie is quite a downgraded version sort of basic package of Final Cut Pro X so it's really easy to use it is great if you just want to cut up some videos and throw them together and there's loads of tutorials on how to use iMovie online so if I find any really really good ones I'll post them in the description below if you need any sort of tutorial for iMovie or Windows Movie Maker in fact as well so that's it for my essential equipment YouTube equipment guide. Um, I hope you guys found it helpful. If you do have any other questions about equipment and things like that, then you can just pop them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. And yeah, I'm gonna leave it there for now. If you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up, that'll be fantastic. And remember to subscribe to this channel as well and I'll see you in the next video. So good, bye, bye.